Hey, hey, I am working on my kids' Power Wheels Desert Racer. They've had this for about a year, and probably after too much concrete driving, honestly, the back tires have busted. You can see, see the cracks in there, and the traction's gone, and so they were just shot. Um, honestly, to Power Wheels' credit, we were just slightly out of warranty. Brand new set of tires or wheels, whatever you want to call them, which is awesome. That was great customer service on their part. Um, had them shipped to our door because there's not a service center near us. So I appreciate that um, But now we've got to put them on and I hadn't really done this before and I uh, thought I'd make a quick YouTube video on How to do this in case you're in my position. So like I said, this is the power wheels desert racer These tires these wheels do fit other models including the modern f-150. So if that's you uh, Your mileage may vary, but these wheels should fit there So check out the description for this video if you look down in there. I'll have product links to specifically these wheels and the uh, rim assembly and the hub assembly that I'm talking about. And I'll have part numbers in there so you can cross-reference to see if this works for your vehicle. But again, this is the Desert Racer. Uh, if you've got the pink Desert Racer, it's exactly the same thing. So definitely no questions there. But I'm working on the rear wheels. First of all, let me tell you, the front wheels, they're gonna last a lot longer. I mean, there's a really, there's a decent amount of tread on there, whereas there's no tread here on the old ones that are shot. So I'm not gonna be messing with these today, but I will tell you the process is exactly the same, except here, instead of a cotter pin, as you'll see in a second, there's just this nut. Not a big deal. It is 14 millimeters is what I checked that one on. But not a big deal. It's not one of the old push nuts or locking caps or anything weird like that, like some of the old models from you know 10, 15, 20 years ago. So here's the deal. Here's really why I wanted to make it. So. There's the one that I'm actually working on replacing right now. Here's the one that I've already replaced. To get this off, this little hub assembly has to come off. And there are tabs in there. So you might have to use a screwdriver, but probably you can just use your fingers to squeeze those out. What you don't want to do is just grab a screwdriver and start prying out because you, you can pop those tabs off. There you go, just with a little bit of pressure. You see those three tabs? So you'll push down on those. From that point, you'll pull this cotter pin out. Like I said, I've already replaced this one. I'm getting ready to do the other side, but that's all. That's the that's all that keeps that on there. So there is the uh, the rim assembly that goes in there. So pop that baby back on. Put the cotter pin back in. Actually, I need two hands to do it, so I'll do that in a minute. But really, what I wanted to make a video for was, that was the easy part, just figuring out how to pop the hub off. This right here, the, uh, the rim assembly, actually gave me some trouble. I didn't know if you would just pry that baby off, like if it was just force that was keeping it on there, or what. And because I was doing this last night, I was doing it kind of in the dark in the garage, where, there, where there's not a lot of light, and I could not tell that there are actually two screws in there. And the light out here is not gonna be that much better but maybe you can see it like that. Yeah, there's at least one of them. So you'll see those two screws, and you'll have to use a long screwdriver to get down into that well. And I'll tell you what, I'll fast forward this section of the video. So there's the inside part. See the two screws hanging out? It's a fairly deep screw. And then there's the well inside of the wheel, and then there's the other part of the assembly. Not extremely complicated, but again, if you don't know about these two screws, and if you don't know about this part right here, these three tabs, you're kind of left in the dark. And Power Wheels, even though they're super awesome for sending me four new, new wheels, there are no instruction manuals. They really leave a lot up to the service centers. So if you want to do this yourself, that's the trick. A um, Couple of other things, to, so really, as far as just reassembling it, um, this will go on the new wheel. Not a big deal at all. You should be able to do that from, uh, from that point on but I'll go ahead and video as I reassemble this so that you can watch it uh, one thing to note though there is a difference of course between the left wheel so this is upside down of course but that is the left wheel and that's the right wheel side uh, there is a difference so make sure that you do your rim assembly and your well the hub doesn't matter but make sure you do your rim assembly to the correct wheel as you're putting it back on like I said I'm not touching the front the front wheels right now because they're fine I'm actually going to save the other two wheels that Power Wheels sent me to eventually replace the back wheels again if I need to. 
or maybe I'll rotate them around, I don't know. But because the gear's on the back, uh, it's the back that ends up with a lot more traction um, and therefore a lot more wear and tear on the wheels than the front tires. Tires, wheels, you yeah, know what I mean. Um, but I think that's it. Again, there are product links in the description below. So check that out if you need anything. Amazon has them. You might be able to find a better deal, um, but for part numbers and all that stuff, go check out the link on Amazon. And uh, good luck to you. All right. Now, again, I'll put some background music on or something while I finish the rest of this job if you want to watch. Um, that's it. Like, subscribe, etc. All the stuff that the cool YouTubers say. 